Now from the Weather Tracker TV Storm Studios, this is your weather today. Here's Chief Meteorologist William Cole. All right, folks, here we go on this TGIF Friday. Of course, coasting now through our Friday and, well, eventually coasting right on into the weekend. We are going to talk in detail about that weekend forecast here over the next few minutes. But we also need to talk about yesterday evening and yesterday night. Of course, we had the rain, the storms that moved through the area. The good news is we only had one severe thunderstorm warning, uh, by and large, really as anticipated. The activity moved through without any severe weather. And even as we go through the day today, it, the rain probabilities are not completely gone. It's a 20% shot, if you will, of a stray shower as we go through the afternoon as our big upper level storm system does begin to pull away. We'll talk about that. And then again, you can see daytime highs, mid, mid upper 60s again here locally in the Metroplex. So for most folks, it was a pretty generous rain. There were a few spots like Tarrant County, the Fort Worth side of town, and even Denton County was a bit more of a swing and a miss there, a tenth to a quarter of an inch of rain. But look at Dallas County, generous rain nearly an inch. And again, you can see other locations like Kaufman, Rockwall, even Hunt County, picking up nearly an inch and a half of rain. Again, all things combined yesterday evening and yesterday night. So by and large, we're quiet now in North Texas. You can see our upper level storm system, the counterclockwise spin, uh, it continues to pull away, right? It's going to pinwheel to the east as we go through the afternoon, but on the back side of it, and we call this the back wash of the system. Um, again, it's chilly aloft, and again, as we apply just a little bit of daytime heating, we're not even going to be overly warm today, right? Mid, mid upper 60s across the area. We may have a few little instability showers that bubble up. Again, like I mentioned, it's about a 20% opportunity. I'll show you the future radar on that coming up momentarily. And then really as we go through Saturday, we're quiet. As we go through a good part of Sunday, we're quiet. But by Sunday evening, Sunday night, uh, this, what you're seeing currently on the Pacific Ocean, will be arriving in the Southern Plains, and it will give us our next opportunity of rain and storms. And the devil's in the detail on this because the opportunity of potentially some severe weather may be there, or we may not have much severe weather and more in the way of just a good old fashioned spring rain. The data really back and forth, a lot of it's gonna to have to do with the available moisture content with that system. And again, I'll show you what I'm talking about coming up. There goes our storm from last night, it pulls away, but then look at this powerhouse arriving. There's a lot of parameters that would be coming together to give us an opportunity of organized severe weather as we get into Sunday evening, Sunday night, but really the first ingredient you need to get severe weather is what? It's moisture. And again, that right now is becoming the bigger question with that storm system. Now, officially from the Storm Prediction Center, this is skipping all the way into Sunday evening, Sunday night. They are drawing a little bit of red here on the map. Uh, this would at least give us an opportunity of some severe weather. I think right now with the newest data coming in, the big country, maybe our far western counties like Young Stevens County, there may be an opportunity of severe weather there. But I think by and large, a lot of us uh, may get kind of through Sunday evening, Sunday night, similar to last evening without much in the way of severe weather. But we should see a line of storms again coming through very late Sunday and then eventually Monday morning before it does begin to uh, pull off to the east. Obviously still several days away. We're really refining that forecast uh, because one small change in the data uh, could bring about a completely different forecast with the system, right? It's that time of year, we gotta track it carefully. But I wanna show you this as well. Now this is today, and again, you can see as we go through the afternoon, look carefully, you can see a few blips of green. See that right there? A few little instability showers, a 20% shot. As we go through the afternoon, we're applying that daytime heating. But again, by and large, we're dry this evening for Friday evening plans, Friday night plans. Those also look dry. And then as we go through tomorrow, Saturday, we're also completely dry. Mid, mid, upper 60s. We'll do a few 70s out in our far western counties. A little bit more in the way of sunshine out there as we go through the afternoon. We'll be clearing the skies here locally in the Metroplex as well. There's that important Friday evening. We're through the 60s. We're dry. Cold front comes through. We are chillier tonight. First thing tomorrow morning, we're down into the 40s. And then tomorrow, we essentially rebound into the 60s across the area, about 68 here in the Metroplex. We'll rebound into the 70s on Sunday. Again, rain storms late. Then we do cool things down by Tuesday with a daytime high of only 61. Another rain and storm opportunity by Wednesday next week.